Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel and if you're new here, my name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi and we're here with a new video for you. So this video is a fun one but a sad one because it's our last video here sitting together like doing this little intro because Tomorrow, I guess, um, if you're watching this on Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, I leave for my Disney college program or my Disney cultural exchange program. I've already had a few cries here today, <laughs> but anyway, that's out of the way. Uh, we're gonna pack uh, my bags here today. Uh, we're gonna do a whole little setup. We'll show you all the things going into my luggage and my carry-ons, all that stuff. It's gonna be chaotic with everything everywhere, but you'll see like the genuine packing process for me and for kind of us, like if we go on trips and stuff, it's kind yes. of like the same sort of thing. Yeah. So we'll show you some of the stuff that I'm actually bringing that I didn't show because I did like a pre DCP haul That was all the stuff that I bought, but of course we had some stuff already yeah. We've got some stuff here since so we'll kind of take you along this whole process and show you all of the stuff But Heidi's here. She's gonna help me of course because she's like an expert packer. No, I'm not. Yes, I've, she is I've had previous experience of moving in different countries and right. yeah So I feel like I have a good idea of what is a need and what might be something that you can live with it. That's fair, and hopefully this will help. Again, I'm not driving down to Florida, I'm flying, so I have to fit everything into two luggages and a backpack and a carry-on bag. So hopefully everything fits, we're gonna weigh everything and check everything out, but let's just get into the packing and show you what we got going on. All right, so this is how we're gonna set this up. We got one luggage here, like I said before, I'm bringing two different luggages, one for clothes and one for extra things, and then also have a backpack and a duffel bag. So we thought this would be the easiest way we can show stuff as we're putting it in here, and then the expert packer over here is gonna finalize it and push it all in there. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this. We're gonna start, I guess, with like the bedding stuff because that's yes. the biggest stuff. And if you didn't know, I have my own room, so I'm staying in a four by two at Flamingo Crossing. And for me, we just have extra stuff here at home, extra sheets and a blanket, so I'm just gonna take it with me. Yeah. Because that's just the easiest option. Yeah, and people might say like you can buy stuff there, which I agree, you can definitely buy stuff there. Yeah. But if you have it and you don't wanna spend money, then. <laughs> For sure. You know? And you can just leave this there if you don't yeah. want to bring it back after. Um, and I've also heard that the Target at Flamingo that's by there is always very busy and doesn't really have lots of stuff always when it's like move-in times. So for me, I would rather just know that I have the stuff than trying to like look for it when I'm there. We also got Brandon two pillows from Ikea yeah. because they're $8.99. Yeah, they're not the cheapest ones. The cheapest ones were like $4.99, but you could literally see through them. Yeah, these ones are better. And these are like the better quality of the cheapest ones. So I could just leave these there like Heidi said before if I don't want them or give them to somebody else who's gonna move in. I don't know, that's kind of like my whole theme with like a lot of like the towels yeah. and Tupperware and those things is if I don't like have room, I can just leave it there. And then this way like, all this stuff essentially in this bag could just be left there and then anything that Brandon gets, he'll have room to bring it back. Right, exactly. That's our thought process. And then kind of the same, we've got old sheets. These are from um, Ikea, we're pretty sure as well. We actually just bought new sheets and a new duvet cover. So now I'm taking these old sheets because Heidi now has the new sheets. So it's perfect for me. All right, next up. <laughs> this is like a non-realistic packing video. No, we're, it's we're... a very realistic packing video because Brandon's literally bringing the things just to keep him alive. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, because apparently, which I don't know if you can tell or can't tell, I try to be very healthy as of lately. Um, so I have lots of like supplement things that I bring and that I try to have on a daily. Heidi's got a bunch in a bag there. There's like a fiber supplement and like electrolytes and things. I don't know. I, I don't want to change my routine a lot because I, I know from Heidi's experience of living in America, the food can take a toll on you. Yeah, like I wasn't able to like gain weight at all. And then when I would move to America, I literally like grew from being yeah. five, 10 to six, one, when I was like already like almost 20. Yeah, so basically I got like so. protein shakes and like some snacks here made good, which I showed in like our haul and stuff. But yeah, there's like fiber supplements and yeah, like electrolytes, vitamin, vitamin C. C, those kind of things. And then also just stuff like sunscreen, shampoo, body wash, all those extra things, those are all going in this luggage. So we're gonna get all of this kind of stuff, all sorted, the snacks, like the dish soap, all that stuff now in the suitcase. We also go to Costco and get our Tide Pods from Costco because it's a really good deal and they last for a very long time. So Brandon is just taking one of these so that he can do laundry because at Flamingo in the in the apartments they have access to laundry machine, which is great. Yeah, and then I got some like allergy medicine and some wipes and hand sanitizer and that kind of stuff. And then just like more snacks, made good granola bars. I know this isn't like maybe a necessity that people would bring. I just feel like for me, 
to kind of have stuff those first few days or maybe there isn't as much time to go do like a whole grocery run um, and I want to spend like a bunch of money just on food right away like in terms of like eating out I feel like it's good to have little snacks so that's kind of my whole thought and process. And things that you these. like. Exactly. And we got these from Costco and we it usually get them anyway yeah. so it's like then that way we'd have them here and I can have them and then Brandon just has some extra so I think it's just a good way that you're not spending a lot of money on food. All right so next up is some shoes for this one we got some Crocs here these are my indoor Crocs. I love Crocs. You can see we're really prioritizing. <laughs> well, because honestly, like, yeah, my whole thing is like sometimes in the morning when I wake up, I don't know if this is a concern, my feet are sore um, and Crocs I wear like around the house. I know some people wear like slippers or other shoes in the house. I wear Crocs. I love Crocs. They're my favorite. So I'm packing those ones and another pair in the other luggage, but these are inside Crocs. And then I have these running shoes here that I'm going to pack. These are just like outside walking Nike shoes. Um, so I'm going to pack these as like an extra pair of shoes with the main pair that's going in the other luggage. In this bag, we're also putting a lunchbox in. This is my lunchbox, <laughs> but I have donated it to Brandon because I went to the store and they didn't really Expensive. have... Yeah, so I got a new one and Brandon is taking this one. And I'm bringing towels. I got some beach towels and a sh uh, some shower towels and... Um, some hand towels, not stuff I think are in the other luggage as well, yeah. potentially. And then I got this bag for like produce and stuff. It's like a reusable one. So I'm gonna bring that because, you know, save the planet one little bag at a time. All right, we're shutting this one, I think, for now. We'll see if this even closes. Heidi's going for it. I don't know. We took the towels out and we're just gonna close it like this instead. <laughs> I swear I'm helping, I'm just off camera. We decided to expand the uh, luggage <laughs> because we were able to, and there's also a hidden compartment where yeah. we're gonna put the towels, and then we'll weigh it to see yeah, if, we gotta yeah, if it's actually. Handy work. dandy weigher, which I got from my aunt because she traveled lots, and this is perfect, and we'll see if it meets. It's gotta be 50 pounds, so we'll see if that happens. Okay, this is pretty heavy. We'll see. And it's very top heavy, like front heavy. Oh, is it? Ready? You gotta lift it. Uh, why am I lifting it? <laughs> well, I was gonna lift it. It is, I think, overweight. Let's see. 64 pounds. So we're 14 pounds over. It's all those supplements. So the solution to the dilemma is that we're gonna have to take half this stuff out and fill it with clothes. Like yeah. the, well, not really half. We just have to take no, the liquids gotta... out that weigh a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then put it in to the next luggage. Right. So we took the protein powder and some of like the fiber stuff and some of the creams out and yep. now we are clocking in again to see if we reached 50 pounds. Yeah, we were at 65 before. So Heidi, what's your oh, guess? Oh, we at 65? Yeah. There's like a lift. 58. 58? Just under 50. Oh, we're I meant, I meant 48. 48. Yeah. yeah, so we're right about like 48, 49, just okay. under 50 pounds. We did it. <laughs> now we're on luggage number two. All right, now we're on to the clothes. And first up, I'm just going to kind of show like the categories of stuff. I won't show each individual shirt or outfit or shorts or things, but I got four button up shirts, which I'm going to use for like uh, traditions or other like events at Flamingo where you have to kind of dress like more professional. Um, it's going to be so hot there. Um, and I know that some people suggest to bring like a suit maybe or like other things like that but for me I just can't wear dress pants and stuff in the heat so I'm wearing those like button-up shirts that's what I'm living in is like my professional outfits I'm also bringing two long sleeve things I know this is probably not a good idea but just in case it's a bit cold in the apartment I got a spirit jersey and a um, under a armor idea. sweater yeah why wouldn't it be a good idea well because it's very hot so I think that people maybe don't really bring that kind of stuff but for me that's like important in case it is cold or just a cooler day. night um, these are more like athletic-y shirts. They're not Disney shirts. They're for going to the gym or just for like lounging around in. I have like this Raptor shirt, which will be like my Canada Day shirt and, and different things like that that I can wear that maybe aren't like Disney options. And then here's the Disney options. We got lots in here. Small shop shirts, Disney Park shirts, so many different things. I'm bringing basically all of the Disney shirts that I do have. There's more in the laundry that I have to wash, which uh, we're going to add to this luggage afterwards as well. But there's lots of Disney stuff, of course, and you'll see these in outfits and all of the vlogs to come. I also got bathing suits. I got a Lion King bathing suit and this other just kind of red with like palm trees on it. Of course, I'm gonna swim, go to water park, so I need bathing suits. I got lots of shorts here. I think that's what this whole stack is and it's so funny because 
I've been saying for like, how long have how I talked long? about shorts? Months that I'm like, I need more shorts, but every single time clearly we go I out, don't. Brandon is like, oh, I'm just gonna go buy some more shorts. I'm like, maybe you should look what you have. <laughs> so I got tons there. I have like khaki shorts, some black, like sort of more like, like dressier shorts. I have athletic shorts, pajama shorts, tons of shorts there. So I think I'm good. Next up we got pins. I'm taking this little pin book, which Heidi got for me and I absolutely love this. It's like a vintage one and it's just so cute. I love it. So I have lots, this is like like full of pins. We kind of went through our pin collection um, and I got some from a, a pin event, which I'll leave that linked in the description and up top there, but I got lots of pins. So those are gonna go in the actual luggage because those can't go in my carry-on because well, they'll set they? off all the stuff. No, I think that they'll set off the I thought that we brought them in our carry-on trade before. I don't know, but then maybe they went off. So I feel like for me, I just want to be safe and just keep them in here and not have to worry about any of that. And the last few things so far for this bag, again, we're going to like, like finalize everything and put it in. We just wanted to show all this stuff and then we're going to kind of like make sure that it perfectly, perfectly fits. But I got those two tote bags or I guess like, yeah, that's what they're called, right? Tote bags uh, from uh, Primark that I'm going to use for groceries and different things. I'm bringing this pin board, which I know maybe isn't the best idea, but for me, I want to have like pins that I like either trade for or that I buy that I love that like remind me of the program and I want to have them on here and these can get pretty expensive. So I'm going to try to pack one of these and get this one in this luggage. And then I also have these shoes that I got for work. Uh, they're just black ASIC shoes. And you can see them there. They're like very minimalist logo and they're very comfortable and perfect. So these will be my work shoes and I'm gonna put these ones in this luggage as well. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we filled this luggage. Now this and one's heavier than the I other think one. this one's heavier than the other one. Do you wanna, do you wanna lift it before I put this on to see what you think? You act like it's like impossible to lift up. No, I just think that it's heavier than the other one. Ready, okay. here's the clock in. Oh, it's only a few pounds over. Yeah, 55, five so pounds over. over. So we're gonna we're gonna take over the emotions that Brandon has wanted to take on this trip. <laughs> I'm going to work now, which yeah, we tried to do this in like an hour. Yeah. I don't really know how we thought that was gonna be a great <laughs> idea, but it's, yeah, here's where we're at. Yeah. What we're gonna do actually is we're gonna take the clothes because this is literally all we have and Brandon still yeah. has a carry-on and a bag, yeah. so two carry-ons. Yeah. So he's gonna take out some of the clothes and put them in the carry-on and that should because we're only like five pounds over yeah so what i'm gonna do so heidi will go to work and you'll see like right after this in about two seconds is me packing the actual like duffel bag and my backpack for the carry-ons and thank you heidi heidi's like a professional and she's a trooper and she's just very helpful to me and i'm gonna miss her so much so I'll miss you too this is going to be just emotional. Also stay tuned because on Monday in like two days will be my first video of the travel day. Um, and I'm thinking that I'll be crying in the morning. We'll so see. So if you want to see him cry, go watch the video. <laughs> All right. So it's a little bit later. Heidi was at work, but is back home. I did a bunch of laundry in between, so I didn't really uh, pack anything, but I've kind of like thought about it and reevaluated and I'm going to talk about some of that stuff here. Um, but I'm going to show my carry on items and that kind of stuff here, my backpack and my duffel bag. But before I do that, um, all of the like protein shakes and supplements and stuff, I'm not going to bring all of that. I'm going to leave that here. Um, like I may bring like a few different things, but I'm just going to order some stuff down there to Flamingo instead, because I feel like that'll just be easier. Like Heidi had said, as we were packing it, that it's probably just easier that way so that's kind of what I'm gonna do I can use the stuff when I come back anyway um, so that that just makes more sense so I'm not trying to stuff all that stuff in the luggage so all that will come out I'm gonna like finalize all of the packing like on Saturday the day that you're watching this I'll finalize everything it's almost finalized but we'll just kind of get everything super organized but Anyway, all that being said, I'm not bringing all that stuff. I'm just gonna bring a few things so I have more room um, and the luggage isn't as heavy. All right, so now we're gonna do the carry-on stuff. And like I said earlier, I'm bringing two different luggages and then two carry-ons, a backpack and a duffel bag. And this is the duffel bag that I've chosen. I love this one so much. It's an Avengers one. And you can see on here, there's the, like the Avengers logo. There's a stamp or whatever, like when it would have been sold as a comic and it shows how much it was. It's a very, very cool one. And on the side, it has like, different heroes names on there you can see them all there so it's just super cool i love this i got this in a box swap a few years ago um so this i'm gonna add some clothes to it and basically clothes that i want for the first few days um like or things like that just in case my luggage gets lost which like knock on wood it doesn't because that would be terrible but i just think it's always good to have like some clothes and some socks underwear shorts that kind of stuff extra in a carry-on bag 
uh, just in case anything does go wrong. So that's kind of my plan with this one. I'm not gonna pack this yet because like I said earlier, I just did some laundry. So that clothes is stuff that I kind of wear more frequently. That's probably gonna go into this bag because um, I washed, like I said, a lot of that main stuff. Um, and then I also took out some clothes that I'm gonna wear to the airport and I'll talk about that as well. But this, yeah, duffel bag will be for that kind of stuff, my hats. Um, and clothes for the first few days. So on the topic of hats, uh, you probably know in a lot of videos, almost every video I guess, I wear a hat. Um, I love wearing hats. I used to hate wearing them and I never would wear them, which you would never know if you watched our videos because I wear them all the time. Um, I just find for me, they kind of add like a bit of style, personality and different things on them. So for me, I like wearing them. Um, obviously when I'm at Disney for certain things, I can't wear hats obviously, but uh, when I can, I will wear them. So I'm gonna pack as many as I can, all of my favorites, some of them, I'm washing right now but I'll show you the ones that I'm not washing that are good to go um, so I have this one of the 50th it has Walt and Mickey it's the partner statue it says Walt Disney World 50 and it's a Nike hat you can see that on the back there as well this is from the Disney parks and I just love this hat I love the color so I'm definitely bringing that one for sure for sure and then I have some from small shops I have this one from magical castle embroidery which is just our absolute favorite we love them so much um, I'll leave them linked here down below because they do have a lot of this stuff still potentially they always have new stuff coming as well but this is a hat as well that I'm gonna bring it's of Ray and Evangeline from princess and the frog um, I love the color of this one I love everything about it so um, that's definitely coming with me as well this one is also from their shop it's a Toy Story Midway mania hat um, and you can see there's the little like shooters for Toy Story Mania and it says Midway Mania. I love this color as well. And I have a shirt that actually goes with this that's like for Toy Story Mania. So that's perfect. And then this one is one that they actually made for us for our channel. And I'm going to bring it as well because I love it and it's just going to be great to wear. And it says it's always sunny and it's that kind of like light blue like denim sort of look. And it's got the sun with some cool font and uh, that's our channel name. So I'm excited about this one. I love this hat and I can't wait to wear it while I'm there. I'm also gonna bring this hat that I'm wearing on my head, this Raptors hat, which will be perfect for Canada Day. Um, I already have a whole outfit planned for that. Hopefully I get to go to the parks on that day and go to Epcot. Um, and then I have some other hats here. This one's of Judy Hopps. It's like a teal color. So I'll bring that one because I love her. She's one of my favorite Disney characters. And then this one, is a Tower of Terror hat, and this goes with a shirt that I have as well. So I'm bringing those for sure. I have some other ones. There's a Groot one, another Mickey one, and some different ones that I'm washing, but those are the hats, and those will go in my duffel bag as well. So now in terms of like other stuff, I think all of this other stuff will go in my backpack, but I don't really know if it'll all fit in there. So we're gonna see how this goes. Some of it may have to go in the duffel, but I'll show you the backpack that I'm bringing. It's this Avengers one. You can tell a theme, I love Marvel. Um, but it's the suits from Avengers Endgame and I love it so much. It's a lounge fly backpack and I choose to bring this one because it has a lot of room. It does have water bottle holders, which is great. Some backpacks don't um, and some that I have actually don't, but I have another like Adidas one that's a bit bigger, but I just think this one's cooler and I like it a lot. So I wanna bring this one. It does have a laptop pouch and has lots of room. So it's perfect for me as well to bring. Um, you can kind of see the inside there. It does have that laptop pouch, like I said, um, and it's just a plain print on the inside. So this will be my backpack that I'll use as my second carry on. And this will basically be all of the important stuff, like my laptop, the camera, all of the electronics and important things. So I'll show you some of that stuff right now. So the first thing that I'll show is this, and this is our camera bag. And of course this usually has our camera in it when we're not filming, but um, I'm gonna put this in that backpack, which I do every time that we travel to Disney or anywhere, I stick this in the backpack. Um, and this will have the camera, the mic, memory cards, extra batteries, all that stuff in this bag. That's usually what I do, it works perfect and I'll keep this in there. My whole plan with like bringing the camera to the parks is I think I'm just gonna bring it and not bring this camera bag, which um, maybe people do bring camera bags. I just think for me, I don't have to carry like a bunch of things. So um, anyway, this will be what I'm gonna use to transport the camera and all of the camera stuff. Uh, down to Florida, it's gonna go into my backpack. All right, next up are some things that I love and I won't show them all because there's like quite a few that I'm bringing, but I use these as a Disney accessory um, and I love it so much. I know people use Nuimos as an accessory, 
but I like to think that I kind of like use something a bit cooler. I'm like the president of the Bring Back Wishables fan club and these are Wishables so there's a few here. There's Rock and Groot which is fitting because the new Guardians movie just came out. Love those ones but basically what I do with my Wishables is I have a fanny pack which I'll show here that I bring and I love and I wear this to the parks all the time. It's a Lululemon fanny pack. Um, and it's perfect, it fits all my things. It has this compartment here, this one here at the back. So I have like my phone, my wallet, all that stuff usually in there and it works perfect for me. But basically I bring wishables because I like to put them into my fanny pack and add a little something extra to the outfits. So for example, here's the genie who's my favorite Disney character, I'm gonna bring him. And these go in the fanny pack and then I zip it up and they kind of just hang out here like this in the fanny pack and I wear it around so it looks like this and you have that little wishable there which people do with like their Nuimos and stuff but I love doing it with the wishables. So I'm gonna bring quite a few of those. So I have the Genie, the Rock and Groot, Mickey and Minnie in the Runaway Railway car. I have like Chewbacca, there's some Toy Story Mania ones, Winnie the Pooh, Brax, there's also this like Donald one uh, from the 50th that I recently got um, like at the pin event, which I'll leave that linked uh, down below. And then this little plush of uh, Judy Hopps. I love Judy Hopps and she's the perfect size as well. So I'm bringing quite a few wishables. They'll be great for like around the room decorations um, and little things to go inside of my fanny pack to add a little bit of Disney touch to the outfits that I wear to the parks. Some other things here are the sunglasses. I showed these in my pre DCP haul, but they're sunglasses that you can uh, see through, of course. At Disney, they gotta be kind of neutral colored and they can't like reflect back. So I got these ones from Marshalls on a good price, very perfect. I'm also bringing my other sunglasses that I wear all the time. And then a lock here as well, which is great. Um, I know that you have like a compartment that's under your bed, I'm pretty sure, where you can like lock stuff or like the drawers have locks. So I'm gonna bring a lock. I don't know if I'll need more than one, but I wanna bring this one. It's a combination lock. Very simple, very basic, but perfect for me just to keep that kind of extra stuff um, extra safe while I'm in my room. I'm of course also bringing like phone chargers and my Apple Watch uh, charger and all that. That's all gonna go in this backpack as well, but I won't show all that. And I'm also gonna bring this. I forgot that we had this and Heidi's like, oh, you can bring the fan. And I was like, what? And it's this portable fan, which we got from Amazon last year on our trip in June. And it's perfect. And I'll like try it out here. There's three different speeds. It's cooling me off right now. It's perfect. And there's a charger for it and it kind of collapses down. You can put it in a bag easy or clip it onto things. So I'm gonna bring this and use this at the parks. It's gonna be so hot while I'm there. I may even need to use this in my room when I'm laying trying to go to sleep. I don't know, but I'm gonna bring this and use it for sure. And then like the last like few little things here are just random things that I'm bringing with me. I'm of course gonna be bringing magic bands because I love magic bands and I'm gonna be at Disney. So I have like, I think seven magic bands here. I also got my one because I'm staying at a Disney resort for like my pre-arrival day. So um, I got one of those and I'm excited about, but I have a few. So I'm gonna bring all of these magic bands and I'll show like a few here, but um, I'm excited. I love magic bands. I know that people don't always use them and they use like their phone or Apple watch and stuff, but to me, there's just something magical about a magic band and I love them. So I have these ones like Runaway Railway, Lion King's Utopia, Cosmic Rewind. Um, and I just love wearing them. They just add something extra to me, which I've said about like the wishables, but I just think that they're so much fun. Like I really, really love them and I'm a total magic band person. So there's these ones as well, Black Panther, Judy Hopps, and a 50th one. So I'm bringing all of these and who knows, maybe I'll add some more magic bands to my collection while I'm down there. And the last few things here uh, with my packing, I'm gonna bring some of these. I have these Wonderground Gallery postcards. Um, this one's of uh, Mickey's Magic, and this one's a Mushu one. I also have one of uh, Tiana looking up at the star. I'm gonna bring that one as well because I wanna in my room have like a few different ones on the wall. I think that would look really, really cool. I know people do that and I just think that would be like a fun touch in my room because I really, really love those postcards. Um, I'm also bringing this. I won't show all of the documents in this, but this has all of the stuff that I need, like my visa form. Um, like my Sevis fee um, and all that kind of stuff, like my, my proof of that, my like insurance, health insurance, all those things. I also printed like my acceptance letter, my police check, all those things 
just in case. Um, I know there's of course like three things that you have to have, which I'm pretty sure is the visa form, the SEVIS and the health insurance, and obviously like your passport and stuff. But I just printed extra stuff just in case. I don't know if I'll need it, but maybe I will. I also am gonna bring these two pins. One is from Caitlin and Austin, and one is one that we traded for at the pin event. And here they are, and these will be the first pins on my pin board in my room. The College of Disney Knowledge, and then this beautiful like four parks one from the D23 set from last year. So I'm gonna bring those, and those will be like the start of my pin board. Um, I'm gonna have a pin board, like I said, while I'm there, so I'm excited about those. And the last thing that I'll show here before we kind of wrap this video up is I bought some new running shoes, and I actually already have these shoes, but they're from years ago and they're so dirty and literally so stretched out that when I tried on these ones, I thought that they didn't fit, but Heidi was like, no, it's just that yours are so worn. So I'm glad to have a new pair. I found my size and here they are. They're these beautiful, clean white, as of right now, Nike free run shoes. I'm gonna bring these and these will be my go-to shoes every day and in the parks and stuff. Um, I love these shoes so much. They're so comfy and so great. So I'm gonna have to break them in, but I'm gonna bring these and these will go in my luggage because like I said, I'm gonna wear the Crocs to the airport. I just think that'll be better, but I love these shoes and I didn't get to show them in the haul because I got them like last weekend, I'm pretty sure. So wanted to show them here. So that's everything I guess in the packing video. I hope that this was like informative and also fun to watch. I know that we're not like finalized everything, but we're pretty, pretty close. Um, and it'll kind of be like a mad dash, like on Saturday today when you're watching this of just finalizing everything and fully packing it up. But this finally feels real that I'm moving to Disney World. And it's honestly just like so crazy to me. And I honestly can't even put into words how I feel. I'm gonna feel so many emotions at tomorrow, which is like Sunday if you're watching this on Saturday. Um, I'll be flying to Disney World and it's just honestly so surreal and I'm excited to vlog everything and have so much content to come. Um, I'm obviously sad for some reasons as well, but I'm gonna just enjoy this whole experience and have a great time and I can't wait to take you all along everything. And with that being said, the first video from when I'm there will be this coming Monday. I'm gonna film everything from tomorrow, my travel day and checking into my resort and all that stuff. And I'll post that a day later because I really wanna get this content out there for all of you um, and for myself and for Heidi to watch. So I'm excited about it. So stay tuned for two videos a week, if not more for my Disney college program. Um, I'm excited about it. I can't wait, there's gonna be so much. So definitely subscribe if you're new and you haven't already because the content's going to come very very quickly and there'll be so much fun stuff here to come and follow us on instagram as well at sunny times too that's where you'll see all of the up-to-date stuff and the most like current stuff but if i'm in the parks or kind of what i'm doing that kind of fun stuff but i just can't wait for this experience and i hope that you're all just as excited as i am to see all of the adventures that i get into all the fun stuff that i do um, and like I've said in every video, if you have any suggestions for content, please let me know things that you want to see. But with all that being said, like I said, be sure to subscribe for more Disney college program slash cultural exchange program content, just like this and pins, hauls, vlogs, unboxings, and live streams. And be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and ring that bell so you never ever miss any new videos from us. And remember friends, it's always sunny. Mm -hmm.